I really like the fact that you did these re-recordings. I think the first, the Riding on Fire, I thought was really, really cool. Um, I thought some of these songs, sound-wise and even you know, somewhat composition-wise, I think sounded a lot, a lot better. And you know, what initially made you want to do this? You know, what initially get, got into your head uh, to go and re-record these tracks and, and do these albums? Well, I mean, the the the, the main driving for a reason for that was that that uh, that for many years the entire noise back catalog wasn't available sure. um, it was it was not re-released it was not uh, it was not even on iTunes or on any digital platform and that started to suck really hard for me and uh, since there was no way to to regain the rights of those recordings um because you know when the, with the, when no, when noise went bankrupt uh, on no, actually, noise was was uh, actually again. Yeah, now I remember. Noise was uh, uh, was to- taken over by Sanctuary Records. You know, the former mm-hmm. Maiden label. And I thought, wow, okay, Sanctuary. Wow. Well, two years later, Sanctuary was bankrupt because they just expanded too much. And I think all the uh, the entire Sanctuary back catalog, also the noise catalog, was was sold to 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 I think to Universal. Um, and Universal then, I think they either keep it, they still have it in some of their drawers, or I think the rights for Iron Savior are with a, with a subdivision of, of, uh, of Universal. I tried to, f- to, to figure out where they are and who I would talk to to, 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 to get them back. I failed. It was not possible. And um, on the other hand, the price was, would have been, I heard of Tanker doing that, and what Tanker paid for them. I thought that's not interesting for me. I don't want to pay that much for this for this old crap. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so I decided no, okay, um, to to have control of this again and and at least to regain some 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 income from that. Um, I would just simply re-record them because mm-hmm. then I have the rights again of this newly recorded tracks. Sure. So as of now, the you're saying that the 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 early stuff. Like unification, the self-titled album. You, those albums aren't in print anymore. Is that what you're telling me? That's what I'm telling you. They, they, if you have one, keep them. They are, they are, they will never will be made again, as far I as I know. I did not know that. So they are really collectors' site. Oh wow, <laughs> yeah, that's you know that's that's sad. You you know because I mean those records when they came out, you know, and I, I go back to those those albums at least for me were important for me, especially when I started this show, because, you know, there's like, there's seven German power metal bands that were like, I, I still listen to, to this day that are like, I consider rock royalty on my show. And you obviously are one of them, but those records, those first couple albums, especially were very big for me back then. And, you know, very important. I did not realize that they were out of print. That's, that's bad because those are, those albums yeah. are classic to my in my opinion yeah i just uh the, while you're talking i just looked up uh battering ram on itunes it's still not there i mm-hmm. mean all other albums are there but that's because somebody probably at universal simply forgot to upload this album mm-hmm. and that's for 10 years now sure mm-hmm. Nobody realizes that because nobody gives a shit for Iron Savior at Universal, you know. They, right. It's it's way too small a band, you know. That that that, that uh, even even the, <laughs> the, the the coffee maker dude will even <laughs> look at it, you know. <clears throat> but and that's the re- actually that's uh, that's the reason the reason is just <laughs> in front of me here, and that's the reason why I I don't I really had to do this again because this re- because I think it's really. It's great songs. It's it's great stuff that uh, that we did back in the days, and and um, it was really pissing me off, you know, that it's been treated that bad from Universal. Yeah, a- absolutely, and and that's that's a sad thing because those uh, man, you know, late '90s for me, that was like the resurgence of of heavy metal for me. That's when bands were really putting out some great stuff, and really this music started going back up, you know. Uh, it started gaining in popularity, but the quality of the, the albums, it was just going up and you were like a big part of that resurgence to me. And the first, I'd say the first three albums in the EP 
were, in my opinion, very important records. And even to this day, I still think they were very important in being a part of that. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, also personally for me, I mean, this is this is the the, the debut. That was my, the first record I I ever made myself. You know, it's super important for me, and so was Unification. I don't know, Unification was for me. It was even more important because I mean, there was the success of the first one, and I really didn't want to fuck up at all. You know, I was really super highly tensed all the way. You know, and and I was giving. 150 or even more percent on, on each and every track, you know, recording everything constantly again and again and again to make it as perfect as possible, you know. Sure. I think, honestly, I have never ever worked again on an album so intense like on uh, Unification. And uh, so those are two really, really important albums for me. And yeah, that's it. We, we came out um, at a time with when, when heavy metal was it was starting to have um, you know a second second wave or so you know there was uh, mm -hmm. it was the first the new wave of British heavy metal and there came all the new metal and then grunge years you know where you had to you know somehow <coughs> survive <laughs> sure. in terms of music and um, after people were getting sick a little bit of detuned guitar, out of tune guitars and, um, and boring new metal grooves, um, bands like Iron Savior or Hammerfall came out at this time, and there was an interest again for this for this kind of you know straightforward heavy metal or power metal it's called nowadays. You know? Right, sure. And, and so for that reason, those albums, um, I'd say. Until even even including the, 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 the condition red and also the battering ram album, they 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 definitely did their share for for this development we have we are looking at today. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official follower of the Metal Command Show here on YouTube for great interviews, reviews, commentary, and much more. Also, don't forget to check out www.metalcommand.net.